Today's project is to put some sort of covering curtain at the end of the swing or at the end of the porch so that we can enjoy the swing when it might be raining or when it might be extra hot outside. So what we used was a piece of PVC pipe and um, it wasn't real uh, rigid so we put a, a smaller piece inside it and then we screwed it in because it needed to be 70 inches wide to fit across the porch spray painted it brown we have some hooks that we're going to screw into the top of the porch to help hold it and then we just got back from the 127 yard sale and I found this shower curtain for two dollars added some shower curtain hooks to it sewed on some washer weights and I put the weights on there to help keep the curtain from blowing too much when the wind blows and so we're not sure how it's going to work but if we had to tie down the shower curtain onto the spindle somehow then we might have to cut some strips in cut some places into the curtain to let the wind blow through it so this is just kind of a trial run see how it works then when we want to pull the curtain back when we're not using it we'll just tie it back with uh, some rope or something which I haven't even figured out how to get yet but this is our project and we're gonna see how it works out but here's our front porch swing that Daryl built for Mother's Day probably 30 years or so ago and uh, love my front porch swing so here we go okay I'm, I'm gonna put a hook on this side and I'm just going to use a hole in the vent the vented socket so we'll try for let's try for back here that way be closer to the wall of the house and let's try that more traffic going by okay I think on this side we can just set it in that that called a corbel or something like that that, that decorative corner piece that decorative that's very piece. dated yeah and then this side will go on the hook so it actually don't doesn't look too bad looks rather level yeah the curtain is going to pull down on it so let's put the curtain on and see what happens let's put the curtain on and see what happens all right so we fish the the shower curtain holders onto the rod there it covers more than i thought it would there's a little stain in it but i only paid two dollars for the curtain. Yeah. Can you hang it? Yeah, just put it on the hook. Put it on the hook for now. There we go. There, how about that? On the hook for now, and then we can unhook it and we want to. Yeah. I think if you turn it. that up like that. Or even if we end up taking it this direction. Mm hmm. To, uh, and just hook it around the, the post. Well, that's the, pretty slick. Say that again. That's pretty slick, Rita. That was Rita's idea. It's Rita's idea, but she got some inspiration from Pinterest also. But I will. Let's see. Yeah, that's sticking out enough. I can just put a screw in the very end of that, back into the, the corbel, if that's what that piece is called. I think it is. And keep that way to keep it straight. Um, keep it up like that. Yeah, keep the high part up. Blocks the sun, too. Blocks the sun, because the sun sh shine right now kind of comes right through there and shines on the porch, but I like it. Yeah, it's actually pretty level across there like that. So I like it. I'll go get a screw and let it finish it up. And, and just to show you a little bit more about the weights that I used, I we had some large washers. I put one at each corner, folded it in half, 
put one in the center and then folded from an end to the middle in half and uh, sewed the second one there. Use some dental floss. It's not the prettiest, but I mean, it's, it's weighing it down to help keep it from moving too much. Plus the swing is gonna help keep it in place also. And it'll just be for the summer because yeah. we'll take it down in the winter time anyway. And we'll figure out some way of, of nylon rope or something to tie it back with to keep it from flapping too much in the wind. Okay, so that's how you make a cheap, inexpensive rain screen. I guess is what it would in be sunshine. called. In sunshine. Rain and sunscreen. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. And we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thanks.